Hey guys, we are back with some more San Jose Sharks GM mode, and oh my god, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Outed in round number one yet again, and we are going to the draft here, and we just need to get it done. I, I don't know what else is going to get this team rolling. Maybe I need more offense like the Edmonton Oilers, but <laughs> it's just, I feel like we have the team, you know. We have the top two defensemen. We have the top six defensemen. We have the top four defensemen. Don't know why I said top six before top four. But whatever. I feel like we have a solid first line. We have a solid second line. Solid third line. I mean, we have depth. And we have a solid goaltender. I don't understand what we're missing. <laughs> I, I guess it's, it's just... Because I, we can't blame going up against the Edmonton Oilers for our failure, right? Because... If we did, then, you know, what, it, what, like, we're just, we're ad, pretty much admitting that we're not the best team in the league right there. So, in, in order to be the Stanley Cup champions, you got to be the best team in the league. So, uh, Silverberg for a third and a first. I mean, <laughs> he's got a top nine potential. What What's he at age-wise? Is he at, like, 32 years age now? 34? No, not, not taking that. Yikes. Okay. So, let's see who we can take in the draft. Uh, Potential-wise, we have some... Uh, a, an exact elite, but he's going to the seventh round, so it's probably... Blomdahl is probably a low elite. I will take Zanetti. He looks the most promising, because he's, he's a sniper going to the first or second round. And it's a top six potential, so he could still technically be a top six potential, but I don't know. The the scouting in this game is <laughs> so unreliable. So we'll go for Zanetti. Hopefully he turns out to be the best. Uh, top nine. Okay. Not the greatest. <laughs> Not the greatest. So uh, another slap in the face right there to, to uh, the San Jose Sharks by EA Sports. So we'll take a uh, French starter goaltender. Why not? Because we have luck with those. Yep, medium starter. Fourth round. Let's see who we can pick up here. Uh, we'll go for go for a top nine. Power forward. Bottom six. <laughs> I mean, at least he's a 64 overall. That's not too bad. Uh, fifth round, I will take the uh, the exact elite now. If he's still there, he should be. Yep, Blondahl. Get on the team. Low elite. There you go. And... Uh, Round number six, I will take the top six potential now. Trotter, I believe it was. Yep. Taking you. Oh, oh. he's actually a, uh, okay, 60 overall. Not bad. And uh, last pick of the draft for the San Jose Sharks. We will take, uh, we'll take Donald. Murray Donald. Medium top six. Let's see what it turns out to be. Low elite. Not bad. That was a pretty nice pick right there. Okay, so... Not as great of a draft as we wanted, but, I mean, we don't really care too much about the draft at this point besides trade value. So, but we definitely got a lot of trade value out of that, so I'm not complaining. Resign phase. This will be fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we have too many big contracts to take care of. I know we already got all of our rookie contracts out of the way. It's just a matter of, uh, ooh, Mahler. Is Mahler a UFA? Uh, no, his, he's still signed. Okay, good, good. I thought, uh, because he showed up first, I thought he might have been up for, uh, renewal. So, let's see. Bottom six, I'm gonna release you. Uh, Felino, I'll release you. Uh, Couturier, I definitely want to sign. Uh, 5.75. What was he making before? He was making 5.8. Okay, so this, this is definitely gonna be a reduction year for him, so that's good. Uh, I... Don't want it. Uh, I prefer not four years. We'll go for three years at the 5.6. See if he accepts that. Adam Lowry. Uh, team wants 2.6. What was he making? He was making 2.8. So another re contract reduction. That's good. We'll go with 2.5. Uh, Craig Smith. He is a 77 overall. Don't have time for that anymore. <laughs> uh, Nachushkin. He is a 76 overall. I will definitely sign him. Uh, Harakala. Yeah, he is. He's some trade value. We'll sign him as well. And uh, Deneau. What 
was he on last year? Three two point three. He wants a okay, okay. So what did Deno do last year? Not too great. Minus eight. We'll sign him anyway though, because he's probably going to be a cheaper option than anyone in free agency. So we'll sign him one point seven five. And then RFA's uh, Voloshenko, he's good for the minors, but he wants a one-way, so no thank you. And uh, no, do not need Ranger, do not need Mason, do not need Persaud. And let's check goaltenders. Uh, UFA, RFA, nothing doing. All right, that's good. And it uh, looks like everyone else is taken care of. Unsigned. Okay, so there wasn't really too many big contracts this year. I think the biggest contract was Couturier. So, yeah, looking good. Looking good. Doesn't appear to be too many, uh, as I said, big contracts this year. So that's, uh, we have some room going into free agency. Uh, let's see who signs. Lowry, Deneau, Couturier rejected. Okay, got to negotiate with him because I definitely do not want him walking off this team. He was a very solid uh, piece of the puzzle last year. Uh, still got 13.8 to work with, so... Uh, let's see. Yep. Can offer you again. I'll, okay. Uh, I'd prefer not to give you the four years, but if it means saving money, I, sure. I mean, we only have two years left anyway. And it'll be 34 by then. So we'll try five points. Yeah, we'll try 5.6 for four years. We'll just give him what he wants lengthwise. No use in uh, beating around the bush for Sean Couturier. I'd rather just, you know, guarantee... That we have him. And accepted. Very nice. So that's all he wanted was the years. So we are now, I think, all set. No one else needs to be signed, I don't believe. Let's just double check. We still have nine mil left to work with in free agency. So maybe if we want to go out there and get one of those studs, like uh, I know I missed out on William Nylander big time last year. So I, I'm kind of regretting that right now <laughs> because of uh, that series against Edmonton. But we cannot uh, think on the past. We just gotta look towards the future and see what's uh, see what's waiting for us in free agency. So hopefully there's uh, someone good here. And even if not, we could always check the trade block, see if there's any studs available. Ooh, Larkin. Okay. So hmm, what Larkin do last year? Sixty one points. That might have only been on that might have been on Detroit. That doesn't sound right for an eighty eight overall. Clayton Keller, a cheaper option, 93 offensive awareness, scored more points last year. Ooh, that might have, he might not be bad. Clayton Keller, I mean, he doesn't have too much playoff experience, but he's another scoring option, another really good scoring option. That could really increase our second line. I uh, might have to think about that. Okay, so there's still, there's the Brinkat as well. 95 offensive awareness, so he's not a bad consolation prize if we uh, lose out on Keller or Larkin, whoever we choose to go for. Let's check uh, potential, just see if there's any prospects. Tiran, uh, he's an RFA. Uh, all these guys know he's 25. We'll try for Knubel. And we'll try for Bobkov as well. May as well try to get some value. And then goaltenders, we'll see if there's any prospects there. There is uh, there is a guy named Mietnin. We'll take him. And Korolev. Okay, so there's Cor <laughs> Corpusalo is available. Uh, no, I gotta I gotta trust Freddie Mahler. I gotta trust that he can get it done in the playoffs. There's no use in getting Corpusalo. Okay, so what do I want to spend my nine mil on? <laughs> That's the thing. So there's Larkin, there's Keller, there's Debrinket. I think those are the three runner ups here. I don't think we need any any defensemen. I think our defense, of course, fine. Like I said, I think we just need one of those first-line scorers to help us against teams like Edmonton. So, let's see. Uh, is there anyone on the trading block who would be useful? All right. So, uh, well, obviously, we're going to start out with Anaheim. Let's see uh, what we can find here. So, nothing with Anaheim. Nothing with Arizona. Uh, Tiran. Nah, not exactly what I'm looking for. More looking for an established elite player like, well, like Hamilton, except a forward. <laughs> uh, let's see, Slavin is still available. Shea is available. Uh, not getting him back. Uh, not, nothing. Nope. 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 
Nope. Uh, Matt Dumba, nope. 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 Uh, Hosang. Uh, again, I'm, I'm looking for that kind of player who can just dominate out there. I'm looking for like 87, 88 at least. So, nope. 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 And nope. And nope. Okay, so there's no one on the block, which means we're probably going to be going for one of the three in free agency, either Dylan Larkin, Clayton Keller, or Alex Debrinkit. So Debrinkit would be the cheapest option. But in terms of overall, he's not the best option. He's an 86. Keller's an 87. He's cheaper than Larkin. And he's got better offensive stats. He's 26, He's so he's the youngest of the group as well. Uh, doesn't have the best shot, but when we take a look at his stats, he is a consistent 30 goal scorer for the past six seasons. He's like uh, pretty much like Nick Ritchie. So, uh, in terms of his offensive ability anyway, not in terms of physicality, I wouldn't imagine. But, uh, yeah, and, okay, so I think if I had to choose, I would, th I think I would take Keller because... Not only because he's the youngest, but because he is the most proven goal scorer out of these three. Six seasons in a row with 30 goal seasons. And he's, you know, he won't, I don't think, take us over the cap. So, I think he'll be a very good option. Uh, I mean, Debrinkit, he's not bad either as a consolation prize, but I would prefer to get Keller. So... He wants 8.45 for seven years. Yikes, we got a lot of competition. Washington, St. Louis, New York, Minnesota, Chicago, Carolina. Okay, so hmm, do I need to free up any cap space in order to get Clayton Keller? That's the thing. I, I don't think so, to be honest. It, I mean, here's the thing, though. I don't want to lowball him like I did with <laughs> Nylander last year or uh, Aho. So, like I want to make sure we lock in to uh to Clayton Keller. And uh Nick Ritchie is actually down to an 86 unfortunately. Uh no, I do not want to trade Nick Ritchie. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is there any side we can shut off here? I'm talking about like maybe Players in the minors who are on one-way deals. Let's see, Platt, no, uh, well, no, he's on a two-way. Who here is on a one-way? Uh, Cernak, no, I need him. All right, no one on defense, and doesn't look like anyone at forward either. Because these are all guys in the NHL. Yep, okay. So, and then goaltenders, let's see. Maybe uh, maybe we can trade. No. Nah. No, nah, Montebo was solid last year. And, oh, Mahler. Mahler's a 92 overall now, boys. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mahler, you better, uh, better not become like Christian playoff flop. <laughs> so, I don't think we need to shed any salary. I got to be honest, because sometimes with this game... What it'll do, it'll tell you you have a certain amount of salary, but you actually have a few mil more when you when you go into the regular season because of uh, you know roster moves and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, I want to go for Keller. Now here's the thing, Ugh. I don't want to lose out on him. I want to ensure that we get Clayton Keller. So let's let's see here. So I will give him nine mil. We are at. I, hold on. I believe we are at a champion status team, right? So he should... Yeah, we're a champion status. He should want to sign with us. Our only loss on the year was Craig Smith, of all people. So this that opens up a perfect opportunity to get Clayton Keller. Nine mil for seven years. I'm not going to play around with this guy. You know, I may as well <laughs> offer him 9.1 just to be safe. Because I do not want to lose out on Clayton Keller. Please sign with us, Keller. Please, please, please. <laughs> All right, let's see. Advanced day. Uh, you know what? Let's do, let's do it on the calendar. 
Come on, Keller. Come on, Keller. Come on, Keller. Let's see. Rookies. Knubel accepted. Nice. Mietman. Nice. Korolov re rejected. Bobkov accepted. Nice. Uh, Johansson. Nope. Nope. Need a save. Uh, yes. Clayton Keller. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice signing. Very nice signing. And I believe we are just within the salary cap. We, are, we should be like 0 0.025. <laughs> like $25,000 left, right? 0.875. Okay, so we're very, very close. So, <laughs> boys, this has got to be the year to win it this upcoming year. So let's simulate up to the start of year number nine. Now that we're done with free agency, we've signed Clayton Keller. We got all the rookies. Let's get into it. All right, so we are in year number nine. Let's see our roster to start the season. So Charlie McAvoy is a 90 overall. Let's actually, uh, let's do this by defenseman first. So Hannafin Fowler plus is an 84 now. Nice. Uh, Vernarski 84, Barhowski and Cernak. Barhowski, let's see. Uh, he's not bad, actually. Uh, I would prefer Cernak for right now, but may not be a bad fill-in if we need to trade Cernak at some point down the road. Goaltenders, Mahler is a 92, as he was in the, uh, in the free agency <laughs> period. So, Unfortunate part about Freddie Mahler, he's only got one year left on his deal. I hope he's still an RFA. He's only 25, so he should be. Uh, forwards, let's see. Cole Akvo, 89. That's good. He's finally above an 88. Uh, McLeod is an 88 now. Nice. Keller's an 87. Richie is an 86. Raquel's an 84. I really think this is the team to get it done, boys. So, let's see. Who's in the minors? Uh, Balsers, Wawika. So, Nichushkin and Marchment. Let's see, Kurt Marchment, he is a minor checker. So Yuri Nachushkin, uh, it's not, honestly, not too bad. Not too bad of a fourth liner right there. I don't think he'll be playing penalty kill time, but uh, he's a he's a good fill-in player. You know, 78 overall, not too bad. Uh, Philip Deneau, and then uh, Lowry. Now we have 20 skaters, so that means we have one extra forward and one extra defenseman, so I'll... I will send down Marchman. There you go. So this is our four core for this year. Koliakovo, McLeod, Keller, Ritchie, Raquel, Couturier, Johnson, Shen, Pearson, Lowry, Deneau, and Nachushkin. And then defensively, McAvoy, Hannafin, Fowler, Plus, Vernarski, and Cernak. And then Barahowski, just in case. And then goaltenders, Mahler and Montebeau. Still 1.8. Salary cap available, and in the minors, we got Mietnan and Bombs as goaltenders. And then defensemen, we have Timmins, Platt, Boyd, House, Xavier House. Oh, you know what? I should have used uh, <laughs> Xavier House in the playoffs last year. I, I will actually call him up just in case. And then uh, forwards, we got Marchment, Balsers, Oiwika, Knubel, Yoshida, Desbians, and Harakala. So there you go. Let's do the lines real quick. I'll meet you guys back in a second. All right, so we got the lines. So first line stayed in the same as last year. Nick Ritchie, McLeod, and Cole Iacobo. Second line, Clayton Keller, Ricard Raquel, and Tyler Johnson. Third line, Tyler Pearson, or, uh, Tanner Pearson, excuse me, Sean Couturier, and Braden Shen. Fourth line is Lowry, Deno, and Nichushkin. Then defensively, pretty much the same. Anafin and McAvoy. Vernarski and Fowler, Cernak and Plus. Power play. Richie, McLeod, Koliakovo, Johnson, and McAvoy. And then second line is Keller, Raquel, Koliakovo is being double shifted once again. And then Fowler and Hannafin. Four man is looking like McLeod, Koliakovo, McAvoy, and Hannafin. And then Keller, Richie, Fowler, and Vernarski. And then penalty kill. McLeod, Johnson, Plus, and Hannafin. And then Couturier, Shen, Vernarski, and McAvoy, and then three-man is Darren McLeod, Plus, and Hannafin, and then Couturier, Vernarski, and McAvoy, and four-on-four, McLeod, Koliakovo, McAvoy, and Hannafin, and then Raquel and Keller, and Vernarski, and Fowler, and then Couturier, and Richie, Cernak, and Plus, three-on-three is McLeod, Koliakovo, and McAvoy, Raquel, Keller, and Hannafin, Couturier, Richie, and Fowler. And then extra attackers are Koliakovo and Keller. 
And then the shootout is Keller, Richie, Koliakovo, McLeod, and McAvoy. And then, of course, in goal, Freddie Mahler and Samuel Montebo back for another year. And then uh, scratched is Barahowski and House. So that'll do it for your year number nine, San Jose Sharks, as we do the best lines for the Barracuda. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we start year number nine.